Okay, we're going to give people a few minutes to get into this. Uh, we did have some technical difficulties once we started that last broadcast. Uh, it had crashed, so it ended it and won't let us restart it. So we're having to use this backup meeting. Um, this will be recorded, so if anybody needs to leave, we will send you the live link for this uh, so that you can watch it at a later time. Uh, but we will be getting started here in about five minutes. All right, we're going to start in a couple more minutes. Uh, it looks like we've got most people transitioned over to this new meeting. So give me just a moment and we'll get us started uh, here in just a moment. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. looks like we're still missing a few, but hopefully they're going to pop in here. I apologize, first of all. Um, not sure what happened, but our first session crashed, so we had to open up a new session. 
and it would let us a way to create this new session. So I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Stephen Ammons. Uh, I've actually been with Bookstore Manager for 14 years now. Um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I have twin boys. Uh, I'll probably show you a picture of them here in a little bit. I know a lot of people know who the boys are. Uh, just very thankful for that everybody could make it. Uh, again, sorry for those uh, delays. Um, we're going to go over some new programs today, um, some enhancement we have, uh, some optional programs. Um, and then there is a section, uh, you actually have a section on the right side of your screen if you have any questions. Uh, John is actually going to be fielding those questions over there. Uh, so just use that area in the right if you're having any issues or have any questions uh, as we go through this. Uh, we're going to try to keep it shorter than we did last year. Uh, we ran a little longer than we expected. So we're going to try to keep this session a little bit shorter. There will be a, there will be a time at the end for some questions, uh, and we'll take those and, and answer those questions uh, live right here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take myself off the video. Uh, I do want to open us up here in a word of prayer. Uh, give me just one moment. I'm going to go ahead and get this going here. All right. All right. So I do want to uh, just killed the meeting there. I do want to open us in a quick word of prayer. So uh, if you would uh, just bow with me and we're gonna, just going to say a quick word before we uh, get started here. Uh, Lord, we're just so thankful for everything that you provide. Uh, Lord, thank you for letting us meet today uh, together. Uh, we're just so thankful for the opportunity to serve you in everything that we do. Uh, just be with us as we go through this webinar today. Um, and we just love you so much. Amen. All right. Uh, I guess if you saw that screen, you probably saw my twins briefly, uh, Luke and Landon. They're about to turn seven in two days, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty proud of that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started uh, with this presentation. All right. Uh, the first thing that I want to do, I uh, do want to go over the, uh, the EMV units uh, that we're using. The EMV units that we're actually using uh, are the S300s. Um, those units uh, do support all the near field technology. So you can use things like Apple Pay, Google Pay. Uh, you can also use the, the chip processing. Uh, and then you can also use just, you know, your traditional swipe. Um, now, if you've not had a chance to go out and, you know, go out and see those screens, uh, go out and get those, you can go ahead and order those on our website. Uh, just go to bookstoremanager.com, uh, click on order supplies, and then those units will be listed very first uh, on that page. And give me. All right. Uh, now, if some people have asked uh, if you have, uh, if you require any additional hardware, now these don't hook up with the, the traditional uh, USB cable that uh, other units have hooked up with. They actually use a Ethernet cable. Uh, so with that Ethernet cable, uh, typically you'll have that network cable there. If you have a hub or a switch right there at your counter, you'll have an open port. And you can just plug it in using those. If for some reason that you don't uh, have a hub or a switch or an open port, you can use a you can order a networking kit on our online store. Uh, and if you have any questions about that, just call our technicians and they'll be glad to to answer any questions and make sure you have the right equipment that you need. Uh, to get everything done. All right, and talking about ordering, uh, if you go to bookstoremanager.com, you'll actually see the banner at the top, uh, and there will be a button there that says order supplies. All you have to do is click on that order supplies button, uh, and that'll take you over to our shopping cart. And that's, you can order receipt printer paper, labels, you can order peripherals like scan guns, receipt printers, things like that. Uh, anything that you order, it is gonna ask you to confirm with your account number. Uh, that way we just know that we're shipping it to the right person. So uh, make sure that you include that account number. Uh, next thing I want to talk briefly about uh, is Windows 10. And give me just a moment. All right. Uh, Windows 10 does work with Bookstore Manager. Uh, now, um, sometimes the printers have some issues when you upgrade from like Windows 7 or Windows 8 because it's reinstalling some drivers. Uh, so if you do have any issues, just call our tech support. Uh, they'll be glad to get in there, uh, reinstall the drivers that you need uh, and get everything up and going for you. Uh, the most common problem that we have is the scheduled tasks not working uh, and not running. 
Uh, this is also caused when you go from Windows 7, Windows 8 uh, to Windows 10. Uh, it just shuts off the scheduled tasks. So again, just call our technicians. They can quickly fix these and resolve these issues. Um, we are actually offering Windows 10 on all new machines now. So we do fully support it. The one note uh, I will say is don't upgrade to Windows 10 on your Quest units yet. We're working on a fix there. Uh, the only thing that you can't upgrade right now is your Quest units. So leave those Quest units on whatever operating system they're on until you get an email from us letting you know that it's okay to upgrade uh, those stations as well. All right. Uh, talk a little bit about Windows tablets. Uh, with the Windows tablets, uh, you can basically help your customers anywhere in the store. Uh, you can sell products from anywhere. Uh, it is fully mobile, it's wireless. We are using a Surface Pro in this uh, example. Um, you can move around the store. Wireless peripherals are more expensive, but you can get a wireless scan gun, a wireless printer, all the devices wirelessly, even a wireless credit card scanner if you wanted to. Um, it's also really good for line busting. Uh, Service Pro runs about $500, um, so just to kind of keep that uh, in mind. Um, next thing we're going to talk about is the Easy Contact email marketing. Now, this, our Easy Contact program basically has three different features to it. It has your autoresponders, it has your e-receipts, and then it also has your email campaigns. Now, with the autoresponders, what those are is like if I come into your store the very first time and I give you my email address, what's going to happen is if you have the Easy Contact program, it's going to literally send an email out within seconds of you leaving the store that says, hey, welcome to our store. Here's a $5 coupon good on your next visit. So it's the whole idea behind that is to create a relationship with that customer get them right back in your store so that they get used to shopping with you. So that's the autoresponders. Uh, you also have one for e-receipts. So what you can do is you can actually send their receipt to them via email. Um, now with that emailed receipt, it's actually going to have some marketing on it. So it's going to market other things in your store. Um, and then it'll also hopefully drive them back to your store or uh, to your website to buy something else. And then the last section uh, of that is our email campaigns. Uh, you can create emails in less than two minutes to send out to your customers. These emails may be store events that you're hosting, uh, maybe an author signing, or it could be, you know, an author's coming out with a new book, and you want to go back and look at anybody that's bought a book from that author in the last year. You want to send them an email letting them know that this new book is coming out by this particular author. Now, if you want all three of those packages, uh, that particular package is $34 a month. And that would give you the ability to do all three of those email campaigns, e-receipts, uh, and also the uh, auto uh, responders. Um, so that's all included uh, in the email marketing uh, tools that we offer. Next thing, this is our newest program. Uh, it's fully functional. Uh, we've just we've made some tweaks to it uh, here in the last few months. Uh, it's our QScan uh, mobile inventory app. Uh, with that. Uh, for one, it's quick and easy to use. Uh, it syncs going right through the cloud. It connects with a Bluetooth scanner, and it's designed to look like our old Quick Count program so that if you were using that Quick Count program, you're not going to have to worry uh, about that. Uh, it also works with the iPhone, iPad, or the iTouch devices. Basically how it works, you're going to go into Bookstore Manager. You're going to tell it, are you going to count the full inventory, or are you going to count a partial inventory? If you do full inventory, it's going to put all the inventory right through the cloud, right onto your iPhone or iPad. And then you can go out and count the inventory using the small scanner uh, that connects with your phone. If you do partial, it's going to say, what categories do you want to count? And you would specify those categories or that vendor, and you would count the store. That way, it would send it right through the cloud. Then you would take the scanner, go out and count everything you said you were going to count. When you're done, it sends the information back through the cloud, right into Bookstore Manager. It'll give you your variance report and everything. So it's very quick, very easy to use. We are running a promotion right now on this program that you do get a second user for free. Um, so it runs, it would be about $595 for one scanner. Um, if you wanted just a single scanner to be able to use this program. Uh, if you want to use two, uh, if you want to use it on two, we're actually giving you the $100 license for free. The only thing you'd have to buy is the $200 scanner to be able to use it uh, on a second device. Um, so that's our uh, Q uh, scan program. All right. Next thing that I want to talk about is the touch point of sale. 
Uh, touch point of sale is great for, we've actually seen more stores add this for their gifts than they have for their cafe or coffee shops or cafeterias. Uh, so it is really good for gift stores, cafes, coffee shops. Uh, it speeds up the checkout process so you can get through people quicker. It's fully touch screen. Uh, it's, you can do full customizable menus. What that means is you can actually uh, go in, set the color of the button, what text is on the button. You can even use images on the buttons. And then if you happen to be one of those cafes or one of the coffee shops uh, or a cafeteria, you can actually use a prep printer with it. So anytime you submit a transaction, it'll actually take that transaction and send it directly over uh, to your prep area. Uh, so wherever that prep area may be. Um, the other thing is uh, it is on sale right now. Um, but what I want to do, I actually want to show you uh, before we go to that, I want to show you one screen. So let me pop up bookstore manager here. I want to show you how you can use it with the gift options. So give me just a moment. All right, so if you're going to be using it with your uh, your gift options, let me just go ahead and bring my screens back up here. With your gift options, if you notice, I have a button down in here that says gifts. So if I choose gifts, I could choose gifts there. And then I've actually created four submenus called necklaces, T-shirts, bracelets, crosses. You can use this for pencils, for erasers, for pass-alongs, any gift item uh, that you have in your store. So if I go into bracelets, it's going to show me all the bracelets that I have that I'm carrying. If I go into T-shirts, it's going to show all the different T-shirts um, that I'm carrying right now. Um, so you can use that. You can set it up. It makes it really quick, really easy. It's really good for jewelry, too, so that they're choosing the right thing um, as well. So let me go ahead and minimize this. I'll let you see my boys again there while I pull the, the other thing back up here. And we're just going to give it just a second for that to recover here. All right, let's go ahead and launch this real quick again. And let me get back to where we were. All right. So we had the touch point of sale. Uh, it is on sale right now. Just to let you know, if you are interested in the touch point of sale, uh, you can actually, it's normally $1,000 for it. We do have it on sale right now for $500 off. So it's $495. If you are interested in, in adding that to your store, just email us, sales at bsmgr.com bsmgr.com and I'll go ahead and throw that over there in the uh, chat for you the email address if you're interested in, in that all right the next thing that we have uh, it's actually used uh, it's an optional add-on it's a one-time fee of a hundred dollars there's no monthly fee associated with it but what it allows you to do is it allows you to do e-statements for your like your church accounts and also uh, your invoices. So anytime they come in to charge, it'll actually send a copy of the invoices to whatever email address you have on file. And then at the end of the month, you can actually send their statements. Uh, we've made some enhancements here. Uh, one, now it is showing the grid lines on your statements. And then also you're able to use a custom logo. So as you can see, we've got our bookstore manager logo up there and we've got our uh, grid lines uh, on there as well. Uh, so there's a couple of uh, new enhancements there. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is Remote Manager. Uh, we had this request a lot at the show and that's why I added this late. Uh, so to be able to add Bookstore Manager, to be able to run Bookstore Manager from home or a book table or a conference, uh, you can use what's called Remote Manager. It pops up and shows you Bookstore Manager. And so then you it's like you're sitting at that computer. So you can run reports, you can do your ordering and receiving from it. 
you can do point of sale, uh, you can handle, you can maintain your inventory. Uh, the other thing is it's very fast. Uh, it's not taking over the machine. So if you're using something like log me in or go to my PC, when you're using that program, it takes over the machine. With this option, it runs in the background. So you don't have anything to worry about. It's going to be very fast. It's just refreshing the screen. Uh, so it is, uh, it is fast. Um, now on this next one, um, actually, I originally anticipated Robbie actually speaking um, on this, uh, but with the whole change in the meeting, uh, we were unable to get that to get him back in here um, as a presenter. Um, now I know he does. Uh, I've given you his contact information. He does on-site training. Uh, he's a consultant. He does web training. Uh, if anybody out there is using him, he is amazing. Uh, he really knows the software. He knows how to handle things in your store, how to fix inventory. Uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now I know he is offering a, a discount uh, because of the ICRS and our webinar. So I believe he is offering, I believe it is a 25% discount. Um, I'll have to check with Robbie to make sure uh, what that discount is. Uh, but right now, if you do sign up with him, um, at that email address that we have listed there, you will get uh, that discount. Um, so right now is really a great time to really uh, take advantage of any trainings that you might need, whether it be just kind of getting up to date, whether it be inventory training or whatever it is, he can really uh, help you uh, there. All right, and now the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna actually start going through some program changes. If we're able to get Robbie in, I'll go ahead and let him uh, talk for a few minutes. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and go on to some of our program changes. Uh, we did some pretty major program changes in the in the last year. So I'm going to try to go over the more important ones uh, that we've done. Uh, the first one that I want to go over is our, EMV, our EMP program. Uh, our EMP program, we have redesigned it where basically you're going to have one place for anything that has to do with employees. So you're not having to go to time sometimes and sometimes go to EMP. You're going to have one place to go. Um, so we've added greater security uh, for like personnel tracking. You can customize the programs that can be accessed by each employee. We've added some new options down there. So you'll see those on the right side screen. And then on the left side screen, you have a field called long password. Uh, this uh, this enables, uh, enables you to use, if you have like an, an employer card, uh, you can use it. If it has a magnetic stripe or a, or a barcode, you can use that instead of typing your passcode each time. So you see this a lot in restaurants and retail locations that they can come over and swipe their card as a manager override. Um, so, and we'll actually talk about manager override here in a little bit. Um, so this screen has been changed. Uh, you've, you are given several different options. Uh, and this is the manager override option I was talking about. When you're on the subtotal screen, if they try to do something that they're able to do like a void, it's going to pop up and say, oh, we need the manager login. So right there, they can either type in their password as the login, or they can actually swipe the card that they have, and it'll just put that right there in the manager login screen. All right, the next option that we have uh, is we've now added a print detail option to the ARI screen. So when you're in your accounts receivable inquiry screen and you're looking through the different uh, invoices, you can actually click on a particular invoice and you can actually choose print detail right from there. Uh, so that option is given right from there and you can, you can go uh, into that option. And I'm going to put you on hold because I do want to ask one question, just one moment. Also, I don't have a screenshot of this uh, in the AR screen, um, but if you're in ARI now, we actually have given you an option that you can actually email invoices. So if you just, if you had somebody call up and say, do you have an invoice for this? You can actually just pull it up in ARI, click on the invoice that they're wanting and click email, and you can type in their email and you can actually send them a, uh, you can actually send them an emailed invoice. All right, another uh, change in our ARS program, you can now print the store logo at the top of your statements, and we kind of showed that earlier. And then you can also display the statement totals uh, after printing your statements. Uh, so those are both new changes. Uh, also in the special order area, we've actually made some changes. We actually got this request from a customer, um, but down there, it'll actually show right there on the main screen if they have a deposit, if something is paid or not, or if it is paid. 
Um, so both of those. Uh, and then one quick correction on the previous screen. On the ARI, if you go into view detail on an invoice, uh, that's where the email option is. So if I were to click on this $50, click view details, then on that next screen is where you're actually given the option for, uh, you know what, let me just see if I can pull it up real quick here. Because this is a very uh, key feature. So if I'm in ARI, I can come down here and I mean, hopefully I'm up to date on this because I haven't updated this one. But if I go into detail right here, you have all your statement. I can choose this email option down here and that will email just this invoice. Uh, so that's a really cool thing that, that you can take advantage of and use now. Uh, all right, let's go back where we were. Uh, again, this is where you can do the special orders now. A new change that we've made in IVT. Uh, you can now view historical data, so you can actually compare two different dates. You don't have to just compare today's date to the past. Uh, you can actually go in and say, I want to look at, you know, in this example, we wanted to look at December 31st of 2014, and we wanted to compare it to December 31st of 2015. Uh, so both of those options are given to you. Uh, right All right, we've given you a new option, IVUL number 44. So if you go into IVUL, if you go down option 44, you can now purge and clear out the records for the inventory maintenance logs. Uh, if you don't know where the inventory maintenance logs, those inventory maintenance logs, those are what we use uh, when you add a new item. It'll say, why are you adding this? It may be the initial inventory or damaged product or whatever it is. You can now clear those using that IVUL option. The next thing that we have, uh, if, you, if you have old labels, you're still going to use the same uh, program you've always used to do the labels. Uh, but if you've ordered labels in the past three months or so, um, you're actually going to use a new program. This is for 30 per page or 50 per page labels, the ones that we get from Uline. Uh, you're actually going to use the program called PRT Label uh, to print those labels. So just wanted to highlight this program. This is the program you will use when you order new labels from us. Uh, we do offer those 30 per page labels and the 50 per page labels uh, right on our website. Uh, some new uh, program changes, some system configuration lines that you have access to. Uh, you can now suppress the passcode in the SLTL program, the IVM program, and also the SLGL program where you look up gift card balances um, and things. Uh, those And those lines are right there, 4074 through 4076 is where you'll actually do that. All right. Uh, the next thing that we have uh, are uh, so the time program. Uh, when printing a time report, uh, the total amount of days worked are now printed on that time report. So in the down right corner, you'll see where it says days worked. So this particular employee worked one day. And so it puts that right down there. Another change that we made is if you know an employee is going on vacation or they have jury duty or they're sick, you can now go in ahead of time and add like their vacation or the jury duty or the whatever ahead of time. So on this, you can actually see that we have ha actually categorized this as vacation. All right, this is one of the, the features we probably hear the most feedback on about people using this feature. It's called full PO stock check. And with the full PO stock check, you actually have uh, the ability, if you have your full purchase order ready to go, you can click this option and it will go in and analyze your what you're trying to order and send out virtual orders to the different uh, publishers or distributors. And it'll come back and tell you who's you the best price if you met free freight. Uh, and it'll also give you, if you click on each vendor, it'll actually give you the details. So if I go to my next screen here, it'll show you the actual details. So if I've clicked on it, it'll come and show how many are available, what my discount is, how many we've ordered. Uh, and if for some reason you did not meet your minimum, it would come down here and it would tell you how close you are to meeting the minimum. Uh, now the discounts reflected here are actually the general the general uh, discount, not uh, the standard. Uh, it's the standard discount, not the actual store's discount. And you can go ahead and customize this um, using that sysconfig line below uh, to make it fit your needs even better. All right, the next program I want to talk about is called our dashboard program. Uh, you access that by going into the program called Dash. Um, this basically lets you go in and look at basic business charts, like intelligence charts. So you can look at hourly transactions. 
You can look at revenue by month. You can even look at a, a chart breakdown of cost, discount, and margin. And so the one I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a sample of is the actual hourly sales transaction. So if I click on this, it's running it for a month and it'll actually come in and show you Mondays, Tuesdays, the difference in each day. So I can look at Monday and I know a green and orange anywhere from one to three o'clock is my busiest time. And if you notice it's across here, so you know this is the middle of the day is in the middle section. Um, but it'll actually give you really cool charts that you can look at and analyze your data, making it just more visible to what's going on. Next program we have, we actually covered this last year, but I always like to cover it each year is our daily program. Uh, the daily program is what you can run so you don't have to run each individual closing report individually. Uh, you can run the program called daily and it'll go in and run these different, re these different reports for you. Um, and then there is a little box over there for print report. If you have that, it's going to give you the report. If you don't want it to print out the SLIV each day, you can just uncheck that and it won't send that report out. Next program is our cash calc program. Uh, this is really handy. I, I use it a lot actually. Um, but what you can do is go in and this allows you to help count down your drawer at the end of the night. It has a spot for you to put in your Z tape total uh, and then how much you're leaving in the actual till or the drawer. And it'll tell you how short or over you are and then also what your deposit total is as well. Um, so that's a great program. And that one is called cash calc. Next program that I want to talk about is the SPT program. The SPT program is a way that you can send a call directly to our docket system for us to contact you back. Uh, I always tell you, don't do this if it's a high pry. If for any reason your system is down or you're not able to burn a CD, call us uh, instead of doing this method because you need to be a high priority so that we can get a call right back. Um, but in the event it's not an emergency, you're just wanting to put a general call out there, Use SPT, put in your summary, the details, your contact info, and it'll put it directly in our docket for us to call you back. Now, in the top right corner, uh, you do have a button that says check call status. So if you click that check call status button, it'll actually tell you where you are in line on our docket. Now, if you happen to be returning a technician's call, you're going to go right directly to their docket. That button is not going to work for you. But if you're just calling in for the first time on a particular issue, use that check call status button because you'll kind of know when you can leave or when you uh, shouldn't leave. You know, if you're two calls away, you probably should stay. But if you're 10 calls away, you probably have time to go uh, get a quick lunch or something. Uh, so that's the SPT program. Um, and then uh, one of the last things I want to talk about is our emails. Any email that we send out, we post to emails.bsmgr.com so that you can go back and access those emails. Uh, so if there's an email you know that came out and you can't find it in your inbox, you can go to this emails.bsmgr.com and you can track what email that was. And so on the left side, number one, that's just your, your first email that's listed. Number two is a search box. So if you wanna go back and look for a particular email, uh, you can use that. And then number three is just our most recent uh, post that we've made. Um, and then, uh, so that's kinda all I have. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a few minutes. Uh, if you would, we're gonna field some questions now uh, in our sidebar area. Uh, if I can, I'm going to try to get Robbie in uh, this meeting if he's available. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and take some uh, questions from you. So if anybody has any questions, if it's a question that doesn't really particular, uh, that doesn't relate to several stores, we may take yours and do it individually with you. Uh, but if anybody has any questions, we're going to go ahead and open it up uh, for questions now. So if you would, just send us those, your, send those our way and we'll go ahead and address those. I did want to announce a couple of things uh, that are going to be coming your way in our next version. Um, I'm not sure when the version is going to release. It'll be a slow release to all the stores. Uh, we are taking uh, it from 48 departments. We're doubling that up to 96 departments. Um, so that change is going to be coming uh, just to let you know. I know we've had some requests for to use more departments than we have in the past. So just know that's going to be coming uh, soon.
Okay, the first question that I have here is from Larry. Uh, he had asked, does your website show how to use Remote Manager and can use it from a laptop that does not have Bookstore Manager on it? Yes, uh, it that's actually how it is designed. It's designed for like a laptop to use at home or at a conference. Uh, we don't have it on our website on exactly how to use it. There is some information on bookstoremanager.com about it. Um, but basically, there is a shortcut on your desktop. You double click it and then you put in your password and then it opens up a bookstore manager on your laptop right there where you're sitting. Uh, so it looks just like bookstore manager. It's like you're sitting at the server using bookstore manager. Uh, good question. All right. Uh, it looks like Bill, I'm going to post one of your questions here. Where did it go? Looks like Bill and Amy asked this question. All right. So the question was asked, when will the signature capture be available for the EMV units? Uh, that is actually, we have been beta testing that for about 45 days in one of our locations. It is working flawlessly. Um, so that is going to be rolled out to you, I would say, probably in the next 30 days, uh, if not 60 days. Uh, but you're definitely going to be having the ability to do signature capture uh, on those EMV units. The other question uh, that we had uh, was from uh, Joanne. I wanted a little more information about using the Windows tablet. Probably best to just call me because I can actually go through that in detail with you. Uh, but basically, uh, instead of it being wired, uh, you would need a wireless network in your store and you're able to move around with a computer using Bookstore Manager uh, on a Surface Pro tablet. Uh, but again, if you call me, we can go ahead and go into a lot more uh, information uh, on that with you. Uh, one other question we had was from Renee about if you didn't want certain daily programs to run, uh, you would just go into that system configuration line um, and then uncheck whichever ones you didn't want to run automatically uh, when you run the daily program. And I'll try to get somebody to reply back with that correct system configuration line.
Another question about the S300 units from Evelyn. Uh, all those S300s are able to use Google Pay and Apple Pay. Uh, if yours isn't enabled, we can enable it for you. Uh, but they are able to use those payment methods, usually by default, uh, if we've set you up that way. And it looks like that system configuration line to configure daily is 7,047. Uh, that's the one that you would use. Uh, just to confirm, Evelyn, uh, yes, you will be able to uh, get signature capture um, probably in the next 30 to 60 days. Uh, and it looks like, uh, give me just one moment, uh, we may have Robbie ready. Let me check with him to make sure that he's ready for that. All right, we're going to take a few more questions. So again, if you have any other questions, please send them our way uh, and we'll definitely uh, address those questions. Got a few more minutes here. Uh, Stephanie, you had asked if uh, you purchase a new surface, uh, do you need another license? If you're replacing a workstation, you won't need a new license. If you're wanting to use it in conjunction with your other users, you would need a, uh, another user license for that. Uh, Bill, the best way to know if it's already set up is for a customer to try to do it. I believe most defaults have that set up by default to use Google Pay and Apple Pay. Uh, one good question is uh, we had some users join in late and wanted to know if they could watch this later. We will be able to uh, broadcast this later on our YouTube channel, um, and we'll make sure we send an email out with that uh, YouTube channel for you to, to do that. <laughs> all right. Uh, it looks like uh, looks like we've handled all the questions that we had coming in. Uh, if you have more questions, feel free to send those to sales at bsmgr.com because uh, we'll be glad to, to answer any of those questions that you have. I know we've got a lot of questions on the EMV units. Uh, they do support Apple Pay, Google Pay. You can purchase those right from bookstoremanager.com. 
Uh, if we are your processor, then you'll get our low rates. It's the very first one on there. If you have your own merchant processor and you're wanting to use that unit, then you would use the second one to purchase. Um, again, if you have any other questions, please send them our way. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day uh, to join us today. I apologize. We had a little bit of issues. Uh, hopefully everybody got back in on this new meeting. Uh, you may get a link to the old video and if it doesn't work, just don't worry about that. We are going to send out uh, a link with this new video. So if you want to rewatch anything from today, uh, you'll be able to do that. Uh, but again, thank you so much for attending today. Uh, we look forward to doing these again. Uh, we are going to try to do one um, halfway through the year. Um, so be looking for the, uh, be looking for that uh, in your email. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, contact us. But again, thank you so much uh, for being here today. I'm going to close this in a word of prayer. Uh, and then again, if you have any questions, just let us know. Lord, we just uh, come to you today. Uh, thank you for this time uh, with our users. Uh, Lord, if there's anything uh, that they have questions on, Lord, just uh, let them uh, get in contact with us so that we can answer. Lord, thank you for allowing uh, all of our users uh, to do your work. Uh, Lord, without them, uh, your word couldn't spread like the light that you want it to. So, Lord, we're just so thankful for each and every one of them. Uh, thankful for our new customers, our old customers, just any customers that we have, Lord. Uh, if there's anything that we can pray for, Lord, just uh, let them let us know so that we can be praying and in your word, Lord. We love you. We lift these things up in your name. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. And we will go ahead and be signing off.